I'd like to start today by apologizing to anybody who I offended, whom I offended by my statement about hating religion. Now, I didn't even really realize that I hated religion until that moment. It's a funny thing. I thought I had turned a corner on that because intellectually, there's no logical reason for me to hate religion. I was raised in a house where there were two different religions happening. There was Christian science on my grandmother and mother's side, and then there was Baptist on my other grandmother and my father's side. Well, anyway, there was, a, there was a little bit of a rift between the faiths, and which caused a lot of tension with me. My grandmother, on my father's side, had convinced me, as she had convinced all of the other grandkids, that she convinced me that I was the favorite. Now, I know she did this with good intention because she loved us and she wanted us all to feel special. But what happened was, I, with my personality, I really believed that I was the only favorite. I carried a lot of guilt and a burden that my brothers and sisters weren't loved as much by my grandmother as I was. My perceived betrayal from my grandmother had to do with her being a Christian and me not being a Christian. But lots of other relatives, even Christian relatives, had betrayal issues with her. For me, it became about religion, when it really should have been just about my grandmother, um, who meant well, who had issues. Somehow everything I learned and knew about religion that was negative was interwoven into my relationship with her. So when I said, I hate religion, I, I don't even know where that came from. That came from somewhere deep down inside me because... Because I thought I worked those issues out. There's no reason for me to hate religion. It had nothing to do with religion. This isn't about religion. This is about my grandmother. When you run into people who say they hate religion, I bet you a lot of them have experience. And the experience, they weren't butting heads with religion. They were butting heads with people who were doing whatever they were doing to them in the name of religion. I have a deep-seated hatred for religion because I thought that religion had torn our family apart. Grandma and the religious grandkids and that side of the family were on one side and we were on the other side. I even remember there were family photographs of the grandkids and they were split, the saved and the unsaved. I saw that as a great insult to me, especially because I was the favorite. How could she put me in that unsaved? You know, she was working on trying to save us. She wanted to save our souls. Put all those issues together. It made a... Um, a mess of me emotionally around the area of religion. Although intellectually I know there's no logical reason for me to hate religion or be upset with religious people at all, I carry baggage from my history, from my own personal history, that has to do again more with my grandmother and less to do with religion itself. Now, I've talked to a lot of people who claim that religion has helped, helped get them through trying times. When someone has a great life and religion has a lot to do with it, it never makes the newspaper. It's the religious wacko that beats and rapes their kids and all these horrible things. Those are the ones that end up making a paper. So it's always the bad news that we hear. Bye, love you.